Man, going across the galaxy not once but twice over sure can take a lot out of you. Well, it's a good thing I'm here with Toadette and there's a free Power Star for us. Looks like Mario's not going to be able to get this one. How's it going everybody and welcome to my new let's play of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. So I'm playing on the Wii U and Nintendo Switch versions. There's also a 3DS version which came out alongside the new Nintendo Switch version a couple years ago and that will be maybe seen from time to time. But we've already been kicked out of the very first book because we have some new trinkets exclusive to the Nintendo Switch version available to us. A mode where we can play with VR goggles has been added. And the latest episode. On this adventure, Captain Toad and Toadette are on a quest for a unique crown. But that's gonna be saved for a lot later in the series. However, it's time for us to step forth into the first book once again because I did Let's Play this game almost five years ago at this point, at the time of uh, this actually coming out, and well, it's time for adventure once more. So let's step forth into Captain Toad Treasure Tracker with Plucky Pass Beginnings. It's no secret that I am a big, big fan of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. I've done a Let's Play before, and this is a redo, obviously, with more information, because with the Switch and 3DS versions, uh, a lot more information about this game actually came out, and obviously there's a whole bunch of new stuff, so why not remake it? And I figured it was about time to do so anyway. Alright, so a couple things that I want to point out really quickly on this first level. You can see the controls are right in front of you right now. It's showing Joy-Cons, even though I'm using the Pro Controller. And on the Switch version, different from the 3DS and Wii U versions, you can see a reticle on the screen pointing at certain things. Like for example, I'm spinning the Super Gem right here. And something that's also exclusive to the Switch version is that with the pointer, you can turn off and on Captain Toad's headlamp. I tried this out in both the Wii U and the 3DS versions as well, rather in the 3DS demo, because I'm not paying $40 for a 3DS inferior version of Captain Toad, and uh, it didn't work, so I assume that only in the Switch version you can use the reticle to turn on and off Captain Toad's headlamp, and also make grass fall from behind his head apparently. Anyway, I really quickly want to point out a screenshot of what the control screen looks like when you first enter Plucky Pass Beginnings on the Wii U version. You can see the Wii U gamepad on the bottom there. And then next up, I want to pause the screen. Actually, I need to press, there we go, I need to press the minus button because different from the Wii U and the 3DS pause screens are a couple of things here on the Switch version. So, obviously, we have continue playing, but there's also restart, which was introduced in the Switch version. So, if you were to mess up the hidden objectives in each world, and yes, there are those, I will get to that in just a moment, then you can go ahead and restart the level. But, there's also co-op play. They released an update after the port came out on the Switch, in which you can play in co-op mode. I will be showing off co-op mode, I will be, it'll probably be like a post-commentary thing, but I will be showing off co-op play. Uh, there's two different types of co-op play, I'll hopefully be able to show both of them off. I'll for sure be able to show off one of them. And of course, if you want to, you can change the camera controls, I'm not going to change them because I'm somewhat used to the different controls now. And then there's the help menu, which is actually the controls menu for the Joy-Con. 
the handheld mode, and that's actually it because they don't recognize the Pro Controller. Even though I am using the Pro Controller, I'll throw up an image on screen of me playing with the Pro Controller, I guess. Anyway, so let's finally get into the game. So we can go ahead and get some turnips and pluck them, and we can also grab the super gems. Super gems are the collectible in each of these mini universes, as the producers of this game like to refer to. Uh, so yeah, you can go ahead and do that. Also with the reticle, much like the touchscreen on the 3DS and Wii U, you can destroy blocks such as the POW block or the regular old uh, brick blocks. All right, let's go ahead and grab some coins, and well, there's only four of those, so unfortunately we didn't grab all too much. All right, let's go ahead and adjust the camera here. We have a shy guy waiting for us. We want the shy guy to turn around though, and we want to destroy the shy guy. Right here is the Super Pickaxe, a new item in this game in which we can go ahead and destroy blocks such as the ones right there and below here. And for destroying that block, we gain access to a little alcove here. Also in the Switch version, I should mention, you can uh, zoom in the camera twice over, unlike the Wii U version. Not sure about the 3DS version, because in the demo I wasn't really able to do anything, and I'm not sure if that's any different from the final release. I would be very surprised if it was, so I'm just gonna go uh, say some 3DS stuff based off of what I played via the demo. Anyway, that giant bird that stole Toadette in the opening cutscene, there's a wanted poster for uh, that bird right here. I'll even throw up an HD version of said poster. However, we can use the reticle to take down the wanted poster and get a single coin out of it. I really, really love the detail of how it got ripped up by the uh, touchscreen or the reticle in the Switch version, how it leaves remnants behind, it's so cool. Anyway, the golden mushroom here gives us 50 coins, and that also leads us to get a 1-up, which is very, very nice. Gonna re-zoom out the camera. Maybe I should have adjusted the camera controls, because I'm not exactly used to them. Uh, maybe I'll get used to them, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, actually, can we... Yes, we can! We can all also destroy that sign with the uh, reticle there, too, so pretty, pretty awesome. Alright, before I go ahead and... Uh, move the plane up here. I'm gonna grab those coins located in that uh, alcove there right below the power star and Yes, this is the captain toad that traveled throughout Mario Galaxy because the toad brigade is also here Hint toad as he's become to known in Super Mario Odyssey and of course the sleepy yellow toad and the uh, green toad which doesn't actually know green toad is a uh, Male toad, right? I'm I Bing Toad, you so. idiot! Purple sure. Toad is male toad, and he got head. left behind. Uh, actually, can we zoom in and see what Green Toad is reading on the map? Uh, I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. Although we do get a nice up close shot of the sleeping yellow toad, which uh, is exciting. Anyway, uh, Hint Toad here did have the final super gem for us, which obviously is exciting. I mean, Captain Toad claps his hands whenever he's uh, by Hint Toad there. All right, and now let's make our way up to the Power Star, now that we have all three Super Gems and the hidden objective, which was to find the Hidden Golden Mushroom. Or rather, the Out in the Open Golden Mushroom, some of them are hidden, but that one was Out in the Open. And for completing each of the universes, as I'll probably refer to them, maybe I'll just talk, call them pages, I don't know, uh, we get a little crown stamp on top, but after completing your very first stage, you will learn about Hide and Seek with Pixel Toad. To play, touch the Pixel Toad button on the uh, Switch itself, or by pressing ZR. So, if we go ahead and press ZR, a Pixel Toad will appear and run into the page. It's like it's playing Blue's Clues. <laughs> Alright, we can find the Pixel Toad and we can spot his hiding place. And when we find the Pixel Toad, we can go ahead and tap on him to collect him. And because this is the very first Pixel Toad hidden hide and seek agenda, they obviously tell us where Pixel Toad is going to be. Pixel Toad is hiding somewhere in the course and we have to find him. 
tap the uh, game, uh, the gamepad, tap the switch to catch him and clear the course, or if you're playing with the pro controller uh, in TV mode, I guess, press ZR to clear the course, aiming with the pointer. We won't be able to keep any coins or items collected during hide and seek. So, there's a nice little border there on the uh, screen. All we need to do is maneuver the camera a little bit this way by moving forward, and then press ZR with the reticle to find Pixel Toad. And for finding Pixel Toad, you get a nice golden Pixel Toad stamp. Anyway, the next thing I want to talk about before we flip the page in the book is the amiibo functionality. So, going back to Pixel Toad, in the Wii U release, you had to use a Toad Mario amiibo in order to activate the Pixel Toad Hide and Seek. In the Switch version, instead, all you need to do is press ZR, or touch the Switch screen itself. This time, the amiibo functionality allows an invincibility mushroom to appear for scanning a Toad amiibo. And of course, you can scan other amiibo too to get some one-ups. For example, I just scanned in a Mario Super Mario amiibo, and that gave me a life, but I believe, like the Wii U version, I can scan the same amiibo twice over, and this time, it gave me two lives! Very, very exciting. Uh, I believe there is actually a limit outside of how many you can scan a day. I believe it's ten amiibo, individually, uh, but you can scan them, obviously, more than once each. Uh, I'm gonna scan in Luigi next, and I got uh, two lives total from Luigi. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, so that is pretty much all the tutorial-y stuff out of the way, and kind of the basics of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. So now we can flip the page, and we can head into the second level, Walleye Tumble Temple. So the secret objective in this level is to not destroy the bridge. The bridge that is right in front of us, right here. You can obviously see next to that super gem, there is a couple cracks, also by those coins right there. So definitely uh, do not do that. Alright, so the first uh, super gem is actually this way. We don't even need to bother with that uh, walleye, thwompy, spiky guy right there. We can just drop down this way. Alright, so we need to wait for the rafts to completely tilt over, and then we can go grab that super gem. All right, I'm not probably gonna make it back, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait, gonna wait for it to uh, flip back over. And on the plus side, this will flip this way vertically, allowing me to just run this way. And in here is a super mushroom. Now, if you already are super powered up, the super mushroom will provide you with ten coins to add to your collection. If you are hits for some reason, such as hitting that spiky wall spike dude. Uh, then you will return to your super power-up. Alright, so here, I actually wanted to drop down here, but luckily for me, it's gonna send me there anyway. We have some cool hieroglyphs right there of mushrooms, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that shot of Captain Toad, that's pretty cool. Anyway, this second super gem is right there, I'm gonna return to normalcy, and somehow avoid not uh, falling down into the pit there. As we move on back here, uh, maybe I should have done the camera controls because I'm not really the best at the inverted ones. For some reason, I'm a little weird. I have to have the controls inverted, even though they're already inverted in a sense, but I have to have them, like, inverted on their inversion. It's a little weird. Alright, let's enter the opening here, allowing us to climb up. And now we have two spiky wall guys in front of our face. So, luckily, we have some turn-ups that I can completely miss. There we go. Alright, grab the final super gem. And now we gotta be careful of this guy. Perfect. We completely got all of the super gems, and we did not break the bridge, which means on our very first run-through of this level, we cleared everything, much like in Plucky Pass Beginnings. So, now that we've cleared this level, we have a quick tip. Touch the switch to interact with objects and stop enemies in their tracks. 
You can also aim with the point, uh, pointer and press ZR to interact with objects and stop enemies in their tracks in TV mode. I don't know why it doesn't recognize the Pro Controller. That's a little weird. Just say, I mean, obviously with the Joy-Cons it's the same thing. In fact, a lot of people would probably recommend using the Joy-Cons over the Pro Controller uh, in this Switch version, but I don't know. I just like the Pro Controller, and plus Joy-Con Drift is a thing, so... Why would I, why would I want to play with Joy-Cons? Anyway, let's go ahead and find Pixel Toad here in Walleye Tumble Temple. I believe he is behind one of the turning wheels inside of the temple, so... I probably don't even need to actually move anything. I can probably just, uh, go through here. Yeah, there he is! Hey, Pixel Toad, nice to see you! Didn't even need to do anything. All I had to do was, uh... Well, I mean, I needed to move the camera, but I didn't need to really move my position in the level. Anyway, we found Pixel Toad in Walleye Tumble Temple. So, with that, I think that is going to do it for this first episode of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Next time, we will hop into the third level of Book 1, Touchstone Trouble. But until then, thank you for watching, and until next time, catch you later.